Hello everybody, this is Refresh and I'm here to bring you a battle between these two Rivals of Ixalan Planeswalker decks and the Face the Hydra Challenge deck from Theros. For this game, we'll be playing with two hero cards, the Harvester, which says tap, draw card, then discard card, and the Hunter, which says target creature you control gains plus one plus one until end of turn. Because I only have one copy of each of these cards, we're going to be applying them to both decks with the Harvester and only one creature at a time with the Hunter. We'll be playing on normal difficulty first with three Hydra heads, and we'll start with seven cards apiece. Ingrath draws a Swamp, a Cinderbarons, a Swamp, a Cinderbarons, a Fathomfleet Border, a Swamp, and a Stormfleet Pyromancer. That's a really slow start for this aggro deck, so we'll return this. Because we're playing multiplayer, we will go back to seven full cards. The second hand has a Goblin Trailblazer, a Mountain, a Mountain, a Vanquisher's Banner, a Headstrong Brute, an Ingrath's Fury, and a Daring Buccaneer. This is a little bit short on lands, however, we do have a lot to start with and all we need is one more swamp to get going so we'll keep this hand. Vraska draws a Queen's Bay Soldier, Moment of Craving, Vraska Scorn, Queen's Bay Soldier, Vampire Champion, Forsaken Chain Tristuary, and Vraska Scheming Gorgon. There's only one land here so we cannot keep this hand. We will return this and go back to seven. We have a Swamp, Vraska Scorn, Gilded Sentinel, Moment of Triumph, Plains, Gilded Sentinel, and Legion Lieutenant. We are again short on lands, but we will keep this because there is hope here, at least. For our first main phase, we will play a mountain here, and we will play a swamp here. And then we will tap the mountain, and with the Daring Buccaneer it says, As an additional cost to cast Daring Buccaneer, reveal a pirate card from your hand, or pay two. We have a pirate card in the Goblin Trailblazer, so we'll reveal that, and then we will cast the Daring Buccaneer for one mana. Then we will pass to the Hydra's turn. The Hydra will cast the topmost card. It is Swallow the Hero Hole. Each player exiles a creature he or she controls until the Hydra's next turn. When a head leaves the battlefield, return the exiled cards to the battlefield under their owner's control. So we will exile the Daring Buccaneer. And then we will end the Hydra's turn. At the end of the turn, we'll use the Harvester to draw and discard. Ingrath draws a Swaggering Corsair. We will discard Ingrath's Fury. And Frasca draws a Swamp, we will discard a Gilded Sentinel. And then we will untap, we'll draw, Ingrath draws a Swamp Goblin, and Frasca draws Famished Paladin. We'll go ahead and play a Plains over here, and we'll play the second Mountain over here. We'll tap both Mountains to play a Goblin Trailblazer here, we'll tap the Swamp and the Plains over here to play the Famished Paladin, and then we will pass the turn to the Hydra. Because the Daring Buccaneer was exiled and we were unable to kill any of the heads, it will remain exiled for the rest of the game. The Hydra will cast the topmost card, which is Hydra's Impenetrable Hide. Each head gains Indestructible until the end of the Hydra's next turn. At the end of last turn, we should have taken three damage apiece, so we'll take the, it now, and then we'll take another th three damage apiece go down to 14 each. At the end of the Hydra's turn, we will tap the Harvester and draw and discard. Angrath draws a Swamp. We will take the Swamp and we will discard a Swab Goblin. Vraska draws a Queen's Bay Soldier. We will discard another Gilded Sentinel. And then we'll untap. We'll draw. Angrath draws an Angrath's Fury and Vraska draws an Inspiring Cleric. There's no reason to attack because there is no way to do any additional damage. So we will play a Swamp over here, and we will play a Swamp over here. We will then tap all here and play a Headstrong Brute. It says it can't block, doesn't matter for this game, and Headstrong Brute has Menace as long as you control another Pirate. So it has Menace, another keyword ability that does not matter for this particular game. In order to be mana efficient, we will go ahead and tap everything and play the Inspiring Cleric. When Inspiring Cleric enters the battlefield, you'll gain for life, and so Vraska will go up to 18 life. And then we'll pass the turn to the Hydra. The Hydra will cast the topmost card, which is Distract the Hydra. Each player may sacrifice a creature. Each player who sacrificed a creature this way chooses a head and taps it. Each player who didn't sacrifice a creature loses three life. We will lose three life apiece. We'll lose six life total, going to eight and 12. At the end of the turn, we'll use the Harvester. Ingrath will draw a Sure Strike and we'll discard the Sure Strike. 
Rasko will draw a Sky March Blood Letter and will discard the Queen's Bay Soldier. We'll untap, we'll draw, Ingrath draws a Mountain, Frasca draws a Swamp, we'll play the Swamp, we'll play the Mountain, and then we will go to attacks. We'll attack with the Inspiring Cleric, the Goblin Trailblazer, and the Headstrong Brute. We'll tap the Hunter to give the Goblin Trailblazer plus one plus one, killing all three Hydras, netting us six life to go back up to 14 and 18. Then we're going to reveal six cards to see if there are any new heads. We have one Ravenous Brute Head. And then on the second main phase, we'll cast a Sky March Blood Letter. It deals one damage to the Ravenous Brute Head, and Rascal will gain one life to go to 19. Ingrath will cast the Swaggering Corsair. It says Raid, Swaggering Corsair enters the battlefield with a plus one, plus one counter on it. If you attack the creature this turn, we attack the creature this turn, so it will get a plus one, plus one counter. And then we'll pass the turn to the Hydra. The Hydra will cast the topmost card, which is Hydra's Impenetrable Hive. Each head gains Indestructible until the end of Hydra's next turn. We'll take two damage from the Ravenous Brute Head to go down to 12 and 17. At the end of the turn, we'll use the Harvester. Ingrath gets an Impale, and Frasca gets a Dusk Legion Zealot. We will discard the Impale, and we will discard Moment of Triumph, and then we will untap. We'll draw, Ingrath draws a Ingrath's Ambusher, and Vraska draws a Forsaken Sanctuary. We'll play the Forsaken Sanctuary tapped, and then we'll go on the attack with the Headstrong Brute and the Inspiring Cleric to do six damage to the Ravenous Brute Head, which defeats it, getting us two life apiece to go up to 14 and 19 again. And then we'll reveal two cards to see if there are any new heads. There are no new heads, and so the Rivals of Ixalan, Planeswalker decks defeat the Hydra in game one. We'll be back with hard mode. Back for hard mode, we have four Hydra heads, and we'll begin with seven cards apiece. Angrath has drawn a Sure Strike, a Swamp, a Swamp, a Swamp, a Mountain, a Mountain, and a Lightning Strike. This is a terrible hand for an aggro deck, so we'll go ahead and give it up and go back to seven. Second hand has a Swaggering Crozier, a Mountain, a Fathom Fleet Border, a Fathom Fleet Cutthroat, a Mountain, a Swamp, and a Gilded Sentinel. It's a little bit slower than we'd like, but we'll keep this. Vraska has a Moment of Triumph, a Skyblade of the Legion, Legion Lieutenant, Plains, Vraska's Conquistador, Plains, and Dusk Legion Zealot. We can only cast one card from our deck with this hand, however, because we do have two mana and we have the ability to loot, we'll go ahead and keep this with the hopes that we can draw a Swamp and live on just the white spells for now. Turn one, we'll play a Swamp and a Plains, and we'll pass the turn to the Hydra. The Hydra will cast the topmost card, which is Disorienting Glower. Players can't cast spells until the Hydra's next turn, which is fine. The Hydra will do four damage to each of us, taking us to 16 apiece. At the end of the turn, we'll use the Harvester. Ingrath draws a Grasping Scoundrel. Vraska draws a Plains. We will discard the Moment of Triumph and the Gilded Sentinel, and then we'll untap. We'll draw, Ingrath draws a Stormfleet Pyromancer, and Vraska draws a Queen's Bay Soldier. We'll play the second planes, and we'll play a Mountain. Because we cannot cast spells this turn, we will pass the turn back to the Hydra. The Hydra will cast the topmost card, which is grown for the stump. Put exactly two cards named Hydra Head onto the battlefield from the graveyard. If you can't reveal cards from the top of the Hydra's library until you reveal a head card, put that card onto the battlefield and the rest into the Hydra's graveyard. Go ahead and reveal cards. We've revealed a Ravenous Brute Head, we'll put that onto the battlefield, and we'll put these two in the graveyard, and we will take six damage from the Hydras to go to ten apiece. At the end of the turn, we'll use the Harvester. Angrath will draw a Swamp, and Vraska will draw a Exultant Sky Marcher. We will discard the Queen's Bay Soldier, and we will discard the Stormfleet Pyromancer. Then we'll untap. We'll draw, Ingrath draws an Ingrath's Ambusher, and Vraska will draw an Inspiring Cleric. We will play a Swamp over here, and we will play a Plains over here. Then we'll tap out over here and play an Ingrath's Ambusher, and we'll tap out over here and we'll play an Inspiring Cleric, which will get Vraska for life to go back up to 14. And then that is the end of our turn. We'll pass to the Hydra. The Hydra will draw the topmost card, which is a Ravenous Brute Head. It'll go onto the battlefield. 
and then each player will take 8 damage, taking Ingrath to 2 and Vraska to 6, and then we'll use the Harvester. Ingrath will draw a Vanquisher's Banner, and Vraska will draw a Vicious Conquistador. We will discard the Conquistador, we will discard the Banner, we'll untap, we'll draw, Ingrath draws a Swaggering Corsair, and Vraska draws a Swamp. We'll play the Swamp, we'll play the Mountain, the Inspiring Cleric will attack one Hydra Head, and the Ingrath's Ambusher will attack a Ravenous Brute Head. We'll deal damage, the Hydra Head will die, we'll gain two life apiece to go up to four and eight. We'll reveal two cards to see if there are any new heads. There is a new Hydra Head. On the second main phase, Ingrath will tap out and play the Fathom Fleet Cutthroat. When it enters the battlefield, destroy a target creature and opponent controls that was dealt damage this turn. We'll finish off the Ravenous Brute Head. It dies. We'll gain two life apiece to go up to six and ten. We'll reveal two cards to see if there are any new heads. There are no new heads. And then we'll each draw a card. Ingrath will draw a Swamp, Vraska will draw a Bishop of the Bloodstained, and then we will tap a Plains and a Swamp to play a Legion Lieutenant, and then both of the remaining Plains to play a Skyblade of the Legion, and then we'll pass the turn to the Hydra. The Hydra will cast a top card, which is Swallow the Hero Hole. Each player exiles a creature he or she controls until the Hydra's next turn. When a head leaves the battlefield, return the exiled cards to the battlefield under their owner's control. We will exile the Ingrass Ambusher, and we will exile the Inspiring Cleric. And then we will take 6 damage apiece, killing off Ingrath, and taking Vraska to 4. And then Vraska will use the Harvester. Vraska draws a Vampire Champion, and we will discard the Dusk Legion Zealot. And then we'll untap. Vraska will draw a Recover. Vraska will attack with the Skyblade of the Legion and will get pumped by the Hunter to give it another plus one, making it a 3-4, and will kill one Hydra Head. The Hydra Head will perish. We'll gain two life to go up to six. We'll reveal two cards to see if there are any new heads. There's one new Hydra Head. And because a head left the battlefield, the Inspiring Cleric will return to the battlefield and we will gain four life to go back up to ten. And then on the second main phase, we will tap everything and play Vraska's Champion, which has Death Touch. And then we will pass the turn to the Hydra. The Hydra will cast the topmost card, which is a Ravenous Brute Head. And we will take 8 damage to go all the way down to 2. At the end of the turn, we'll use the Harvester. Vraska draws a Forsaken Sanctuary, and we'll discard the Recover. And then Vraska will untap. Vraska will draw, and she'll get a Plains, we'll play the Plains. Then Vraska will attack with the Champion into a Ravenous Brute Head, with the Inspiring Cleric and the Skyblade of the Legion into two Hydra Heads, giving the Skyblade an additional plus one, plus one. And we will kill one Ravenous Brute Head and two Hydra Heads, getting us six life to go back up to eight. We will reveal six cards to see if there are any new heads. There are two new heads. One Hydra Head and a Shrieking Titan Head, which says at the beginning of the Hydra's end step, each player discards a card. And then on the second main step, we will tap all the mana, and we will cast an Exultant Sky Marcher and a Vraska's Conquistador, and then we will pass the turn to the Hydra. The Hydra will cast the topmost card, which is a Hydra Head, and those heads will all deal 8 damage, finishing Vraska off. So. The Rivals of Ixalan Planeswalker decks have been defeated by the Hydra in hard mode, but were able to defeat it in regular mode. What did you think about these games? Let me know in the comments below. If I made any rules, errors, or play errors, also let me know so that I can become better at doing these demo games. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button. If you'd like to see more such videos, hit subscribe. Next time I'll be bringing these two decks up against the Battle of the Horde challenge deck from Born of the Gods. Until then, this is Refresh, and thanks for watching.